good morning. Hiccups. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6, I think. I just almost chopped my thumb off while making my meal prep for the week. Um, I'll show you guys a close up. So where you see that, um, what looks like a tear in my nail. Nope, that was a really, really sharp knife. And it almost went right through and cut the tip of my thumb off. So that would have been a really fun experience. I mean, I can just see it now. You know, I have to load Nate into his car seat, get him out the door while I'm gushing blood. And then we go to the ER. I have to get stitches. That would have been good. That would have been a really great scenario, except not. I'd rather not spend my Monday morning in the ER. Um, <clears throat> so... Nate and I are just about to watch a little bit of TV while he's in his sit-me-up seat here because I have two last presents to wrap um, and then I'll be completely done. This lighting is crazy right now. Um, but I just kind of wanted to have a little chat with you guys while I wrap the presents. I thought that I could go for a good old chit-chat. Alright. I do not know. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Do you guys like my outfit? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And I'm also wearing some buffalo plaid um, pajama shorts this morning. Or pajama, pajama pants this morning. It's too cold for shorts. Um, they match my wrapping paper. Okay, so I'm just sitting down now wrapping some presents. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about... A couple of things first of all today I actually took some time to do my makeup and I am still in my pajamas but that's because they're super cute pajamas and I want to wear them because I think that they look cute so the second thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, kind of just I think throughout this process of vlogmas I've realized how much um, how, how much I cut out of my videos and the kind of need I feel to be perfect in my vlogs um, to appear like we have some perfect life or something and I think that a lot of people feel that way and if you like if you don't uh, vlog or something then I think that people still feel that way with um, like Instagram or Facebook or whatever social media it may be just this need to feel perfect on social media and like have the perfect life and baby always smiling in every picture you post and if you post a if you post a picture of them um that's like they're upset or they're fussy or something then you must be a bad mom and you're neglecting your child because you you took a picture when they were upset instead of comforting them and, and <sighs> I just wanted to say that if it appears like we have some kind of perfect life or something because I edit all of the uh, harder parts out, we don't have a perfect life by any means. I've just always wanted to be a mom my whole life and I feel really fortunate that I get to stay at home at, with Nate and pursue a hobby that I like, like YouTube, and I also get to do some photography stuff on the side here and there. I'm just feeling really fortunate lately um and I I def we definitely are blessed in that in that way like I feel very lucky to be 25 and like I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom because I have a husband who's wanting to work hard enough to make it happen for us but also there are harder parts and things that happen that don't make it to the vlog or don't go on Instagram and that's usually because I'm upset and I don't want to spend like I don't want to be up like when I'm upset this is what I'm trying to say when I'm upset I don't want to like go on social media and post a picture about me being upset I want to just work through it and get over it Nate cries all day every day he does not like he is not he is a really good baby he sleeps through the night with maybe one wake up, he smiled as soon as I said that. You, you are a really good baby. Um, but, like, at the same time, he cries a lot, guys. I mean, babies cry. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of rambling now. But I just wanted to say that our life 
is by no means perfect and I want to be very real with you guys. I'm going to start working on just being very real. Like right now, I'm gonna let you guys know, before I sat down to film this, I cleared dirty dishes from our coffee table here that were left over from dinner last night. Um, so yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. I'm just gonna start being way more real with you guys. And if that means that I'm, you know, showing that I let my baby watch TV while I'm trying to get stuff done, or if that shows that I put him in the swing while I'm making dinner, then I'm fine with doing that. I'm not going to be some, like, I'm not gonna be overly anxious about showing you guys those things because of maybe someone could get the idea that, oh, I'm being a bad mom because my, I, my baby's just in the swing all day long. I'm never holding him because that's just not true. Um, and I don't want to make other moms doing the same thing as me. I don't want to make you guys feel bad because I know what it feels like to like look at a family that looks like they just have it all together and they actually just edit everything out. So I'm just going to start being way more real with you guys and um, yeah, that's that. I'm going to wrap this gift now because I've been sitting here just talking. I said I was going to wrap it while I was talking, but it's hard for me to do more than one thing at once, apparently. So my soup just got finished. This is the one I was talking about in the other vlogmas the other day. It's lentils, kale, and gold potatoes with vegetable broth. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. And that's everything in this soup and it's actually super good for how ridiculously healthy it sounds um this is like my favorite soup now and you don't even like you get really full eating it and you like don't even mind that you're um eating super healthy food nate just took like the longest nap ever <laughs> um laying on me and it was really cute we were watching tv together and i actually have like red lines on my arm now for, from where he was sleeping but um Alex will be getting off soon I think I'm gonna have a bowl of this soup even though it's pretty late for lunch it's 3 30 um but it just now got done so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat now and then we'll probably be eating like at like six o'clock or something for dinner too so it's all good though one bowl of soup I should I should be hungry again by then so I just wanted to mention that Alex and I are going to do like a Q&A um, video and a couple vlogmases. So if you have any questions for us, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll check them out and answer them.